Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to episode number 21 of this Let's Play uh, Total War Three Kingdoms as Gongdu campaign. Uh, where we left off last time, we... Let's go back to this big diplomacy screen. Um, we created some nice uh, diplomatic ties with these nations here between the two rivers. Uh, helps us, this mountainous region, helps us to just kind of seal up this border along... Um, Shenyang here, this province, as well as uh, these kind of past provinces here in the north, which I guess are already pretty well defended themselves. Um, but it just secures this kind of central pathway into this middle of our empire as we fight a war in the south and a war in the east. And then obviously the looters in the north. So didn't want to have to be fighting along every single front. Um, we did raise up a new army here. And it's small, but, you know, we'll continue to uh, bring troops into it. We have our taxes are kind of up one click. Um, that's why we're making, you know, solid money. If we had our taxes at normal rate, uh, we'd be making 18. Uh, 1,800 instead of about 3,300. Um, but, yeah, here's our new armor uh, army by uh, Pei Yuan Shao. And uh, we have our He Yi garrison force over here that just recently fought back uh, some forces of Queen Zhurong herself. I believe there is still an army here in the forest somewhere, so we're going to keep him in the Ba uh, location. And maybe we can even, you know, we'll get those bonus troops from the garrison for any fight that takes place there. Uh, up here in the east, we have our two forces positioned along the front line, and, you know, we're kind of in a position now where hopefully we can start to advance sooner rather than later, uh, you know, get a little aggressive, but... Um, we have our Zhuzhurong force that is moving into Key Pass. Rest. Very archer-heavy, perfect for a pass province uh, to defend here along the river. And we have our uh, army here that is now led uh, by Bei Baoshu. Um, there is a full force up here in the, in the Gu Pass, and I don't want to hit that so, uh, you know, alone, um, which is why they are just kind of positioned in defensive stance currently. Uh, finally... We got the looters and their ever annoying, um, ever annoying presence. Uh, they have somehow uh, appeared now with two full stacks instead of their customary one, um, meaning that you know we may have to, well, unfortunately, you know, fight both at once, uh, which I prefer not to do. So what we'll do for that is we will keep this uh, Gongdu led force here. Uh, for at least another turn, so they are within, you know, striking distance of the city in a, in a march stance to come reinforce. Um, and yeah, we'll let them uh, finish. You know, we could actually probably move them without the mustering bonus. Um, so yeah, if we move them, they'll still just be one turn before we punish. So why don't we move them into a position where they could actually come in in normal stance and not an ambush stance? And then this army here. I mean, the concept, right, is that we can fight in this settlement with the army, with a general, and with the city garrison, and once we, you know, let's actually get this upgrade going. Once this upgrade here is complete, then we will also have a uh, additional garrison in the settlement as well, and that should be enough to repel any single looter's army. But two armies at once, uh, quite frustrating. Um, definitely quite frustrating, no doubt about that. Uh, this force down here, though, we're probably going to just spend the rest of our money really quick, uh, seeing what we can recruit in, if anything, with the funds that we have left. Uh, we do have a couple options. Um, you know, we have limited archers. There's a men in the uh, men in the men of the forest. Sorry, uh, that comes in with Pei Yangshu himself. Uh, that is, that he does not. Yeah, he has ranged armor piercing and ranged damage bonus here. Um, yeah, so I guess that's actually, yeah, so he's, and then here we can also get precision, which would up the firing rates and everything if we go that route. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably, maybe we can just bring in with the little bit of money we have left here, um, a yellow turban, two yellow turban archers units, you know, just classic archers. Uh, I don't think we need to go the full upgrade the men of the forest uh, right off the bat. I just don't think it's wholly necessary. Let's get these guys in and, you know, that uses up most of our funds, but at least we get the mustering going. Um... Yeah, so let's take a quick look at our cities. Uh, public order across the board uh, is generally kind of mixed, especially with the tax rate higher. Um, it's rising mostly, though, in most locations. Uh, Shenyang 
probably the only location that is uh, seriously having any issues at negative 61 and losing five per turn. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and we can send in uh, here the public order boost to that settlement. So that should up it to them gaining seven per turn. And it'll you know start moving it more in the positive direction. Um, otherwise, yeah, we're pretty okay because we also do have the reform. Um, oh, that's for satisfaction. Reform for satisfaction, five turns, uh, and morale. And then once that's complete, we'll probably do a public order reform. I don't know which one specifically, um, but basically we just need to make sure that no cities get, you know, ridiculously unhappy for the time being. Uh, this would be a nice one too for the trade agreements. Um, no, there's got to be a public order reform somewhere that we haven't done, right? Come on now. Hmm, all right, let's keep looking. This is kind of surprising. I would have for sure thought there'd be public order somewhere in here. Nope, still not yet. I mean, I know we did a public order reform very early on in the campaign, but I guess I just kind of assumed that wouldn't be the only one. I guess it is the only one. Okay, so public order might be something we do have to uh, address at some point, or at least, um, you know, at least uh, we'll lower tax rates at some point. But uh, in the meantime, we should be okay uh, with what we have now. Let's kind of just take these guys, walk them out of the city a couple steps here. Yeah, that, that army is still set up up there. So we'll go back into into a Hidong area. And let's go quickly, I guess, early in the video this time to the next turn. Nothing from Yan Xiao yet. Okay. Let's see the other people. Queen Zhurong, there's her army. So yeah, it is right there. We will definitely be defending with He Yi. Looters have advanced, and uh... Yeah, okay, so the looters attacked the city. Um... Yeah, not really a surprise. What is... So let's, uh, yeah, I guess we just jump in and, and we'll go ahead and fight the battle. And obviously we do have the city's garrison on our side as well. Their force seems to be, like, half archers and crossbows. So if we can just get a nice rush on them with uh, with some cavalry, I think we'll be in a fairly uh, strong position. And, you know, ultimately, I mean, this is the whole plan, right? Like, this is, these are the type of battles we're going to have to win against the looters with our defense force with one general in the area. Um, I do realize, uh, I unfortunately forgot to give this general a uh, good weapon, um, or anything, so he's not really in a dueling capacity, um, but if you look over here, I mean, we have their general with four units of range, two units of spears, uh, I thought I got some, I thought I was supposed to get some cavalry from the city, uh, but for some reason I don't, and then this side, yeah, they do have a little bit of cavalry, and uh, archers and spears as well. Looks like generally high quality units. Um, so on this side, I think we'll position our general. Uh, general with... Um, yeah, I think let's get all six units of archers on this side where they have... Without general, we're going to need to do more range damage on, their, on these units that are on their way in. Um... And we'll also take our uh, nice yellow turban spearmen over here um, because they do have the uh, cavalry units, obviously. Um, so we want to make sure that we are uh, defended against those. And uh, yeah, let's make sure all these guys off skirmish mode. And then um, I guess we could just take... Uh, we could take some sword units kind of in reserve here. And yeah, then we got some units here that can be in deeper reserve because they have um, they have no uh, range block chance. So we're going to keep them off the front line. So that's going to be our side that's going to be fighting more man to man. And then our flank with the general. Yellow turban warriors, you can guard that principal gatehouse right here. I kind of like to just having one unit guard it, and with another unit, you know, defending behind. Um, we do have two captain's units as well, uh, both with nice range block chance. 
and then uh, we'll take these People's Warbands units again that uh, don't have any ranged block, and they can be, you know, a bit more in reserve here. And then, yeah, why don't we move these two units out this direction? Maybe we can circle them around. Um, the lack of cavalry is really frustrating. I, I genuinely really thought I had cavalry here. Um, very, very frustrating, frankly, uh, that I do not. Um, I could have sworn it set up the city that I did. But we just want to make sure they don't come in this direction. I want everyone funneling in to where my troops are. If they come in this direction, they're going to have to go a ways around. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Alright, General, get out there. So this side, because there's only two units of infantry... Um, and my general, I'm hoping my basically that my general can essentially go and uh, essentially take out their ranged units, and then the towers should be enough to take out the rest of the infantry. You can see they've already opened fire. And on this side, yeah, same, uh, you know, similar type deal. The towers will open fire. Uh, the ranged units here should be in range of their guys with no range block chance in any second. Um, expect them to, you know, be able to do pretty well. Yeah, character cannot duel anyway, um, but we're just going to keep our general on him, try to knock him out, and we got the Your towers. Rebellion is over, scum. I will kill you, if only to yeah, so we're just going to keep our general chasing him around. Uh, we want to take him out, that's the goal. Alright, archers, opening fire, there we go. And uh, yeah, these guys have no range block chance, so we should be doing, should be able to do some nice damage to them. Um, and all these units that are coming in here. Uh, which are going to then go ahead and fight our spears in the front lines. Uh, we already actually have a unit routing, uh, which is great. Uh, and yeah, here you can see just the barrage of arrows. Wow, I don't know, all these archers must have been in the trees. They have a ton of archers on this side. Uh, why don't we troops out over here? Let's push out. Push out. We're going to try to surround them over there. General, stay on them. Better weapon and he might have been dead already. That, that, was, that was completely my fault. Yeah, let's see if we can't, uh, if any of these guys charge in on their, uh, ranged units and do any damage over there. The enemy unit flees. What's up? Let's see if we can't ca catch the general here. Nope, he, he ran back the other direction. That's fine. Yeah, we're just gonna, since we don't have cavalry, we're gonna kind of just... Get on the archers with these guys. How's it going over here? I'm not as worried about this side. Um, yeah. I mean, we can we can press in. These men just weather the storm from the archers. That's fine. How are you doing? He's still running. My guy's still chasing him. All right. All right. Let's move in reinforcements here. Archers, why don't you back up a little bit? Oh, these guys I forgot that they stopped moving. Let's get one unit going into the back of those men there. And, uh, yeah, let's get both units going into the back of those men there. These guys, if we could get that archer, uh, our horseman unit out of the way, that'd be great. General is kind of just the being wasted. Unit. Let's just get the general out, out out here where he's of more use. Um, and yeah, now we got these guys pretty surrounded, so we're in a good position there. Yeah, general, we're just going to get you out here dealing with the archers. Um, oh, these guys, yeah, they, they chased all the way out. Let's pull you guys back. Uh, those archers out there are not a threat, especially with the range block of, uh, opportunity and abilities that we have. Um, yeah, and we are surrounding in here now. We did have one unit route out, but we defended that front line well. And we're going to want to then churn and, and charge out with our general into some of these ranged units here. That the these men are kind of just chasing. And yeah, all these units here, now they're, they're fleeing. This unit should break. So we'll go deal with this massive archers with the general. And with these guys that are just kind of jogging around <laughs> out there. Ugh. Right, there we go. They they fully broke. 
the G heavies. Let's see if we can't catch that guy. Yeah, we got a unit that they're almost out of ammo. That's why I'm just kind of saying the weather, the storm here. Our victory grows ever closer. Come on, General. Keep after him. Is he exhausted? He's got to be pretty exhausted. Yeah. All right, they're routing. Guess let's turn that way. Yeah, you can see my archers are still raining down good shots on them. I have no idea what this guy's plan was, this whole fight, but he's just been kind of wandering. Yeah, I thought I would. I thought I had uh, cavalry as part of the city garrison, and so I wasn't nervous about these archers at all. Um, not having cavalry has been a huge uh, frustrating issue. So hopefully we can figure that out so that that doesn't happen again. Because that was really annoying. Would have been e easily able to take out the uh, archers here if we had like sufficient cavalry to do so. Yeah, and probably chase down the general better as well. Yeah, these guys are almost done. Towers are doing good damage to them. Alright, there we go. They're all routing over here now. Let's go out for that guy. I think this might be the last unit that hasn't routed. Yeah, I don't really have too much of an ability to chase down routers here, because I just have the one general and no other cav. But we will go to fast forward and... Uh, We'll wipe out as many of these archers as we can, so they can't uh, they can't mess with us in the future. Yeah, because they really, this army really did have quite the bulk of archer units. Oh, we're not really going to be able to take out too much. Yeah, again, the general's lack of uh, a nice damage, high damage weapon definitely is playing a role with that. So we'll just do as much damage to this unit as possible, and then uh, end the fight. Claim victory. That's good enough. So, from yeah, they're not going to be destroyed, this army, heaven. but they'll be pushed back from the city gates. Uh, nice little bit of income. Um, ooh, we can get a whole nother thousand. Uh, yeah, that's that's a lot uh, to get. So we'll ransom them for that extra for money. Um, Alright, here we go. So, Yanshu, vassalized Gonshin, Shuxang. Um, Alright. Liu Yao invites Liu Bei into their coalition. Gonshin, Shuxang, isn't she? Yeah, she's right over, uh, she's right over here. So, Gonshin, Shuxang is now a vassal... Huh, is now, wow, a vassal to Yanshu. Look how many vassals he has. Jeez, yeah, so Yan Shu, super powerful here in the middle. Um, at war with a bunch of countries. I mean, yeah, if there's anything that we can do to make you like me a bit more so we don't have to go to war with you for the time being, that would be really nice. Maybe we can get a regular payment from you, like a nice sum here. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a good... Very good number. I'm surprised I haven't seen uh, this combo before here. Um, because he, you know, with the very poor in food and the very rich, or the rich in finances, uh, that's like a dream combo. I mean, three food for ten turns for almost over, <laughs> almost 1,200 per turn. Um, does have a couple ancillaries too. Uh, we have, uh, the Great Glaive's not amazing. Not amazing. Yeah, we'll just do the money for the food. We are Deal signs. To you for this uh, attitude is very negative towards me. Um, may, but it is, it's gonna be start trending upwards because of that. You can see it's negative 74 trending towards negative 67. Um, mainly because of war atrocities against friends, strategic threat, broke treaties with him. Uh, it must have been a while ago. That's, it's kind of frustrating. Um, but that's a nice deal to get done. Ambushes, yes, I am aware she is here. Buildings, we got the wine vendor in Baxi. Uh, wine vendor 
Puffs public order and satisfaction. Nice building. I guess I'll just go ahead and move on to the next level of it. Traits gains. Zhu Zhang got impeccable. Plus three public order faction wide. If you're a lord of virtue. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Um, he's a local leader, but not a lord of virtue. Yeah, he is, you know, already in that position. Um, I think we'll... Yeah, I mean, the public order would be nice. We'd have to do some, some big time switching around here. To, yeah, to get him. We'd have to put a different, a different local leader in. And then... Yeah, he's local leader of Jin Cheng. Um, up here. So... We did these a while ago, so his... Position and effects. That's that's standard. I think they all have the same position effects. Yeah, income from all sources, corruption, and available armies faction wide, and the rest are minister commandery. Um, if I were to put like other people in the post, well, I'd have to remove him from the post and remove from office, which will just kill his satisfaction. And then if we kill he Yi's and switch him up, yeah, that's okay. Um, first and foremost, let's... This army... If I attacked that army, if I left the city to go attack it... Oh, the other army is not in reinforcement range. Okay, so that's really important. Second of all, let's get this guy set up. First and foremost, we need a good weapon. Right now his weapon's only making like 400-something damage. We could up that to a weapon that's over 1,000 damage. Um... We could up that to a 1500 damage weapon. Uh, might be worth it for this guy up here because... And that uh, will increase instinct as well, which will also increase melee damage. Because he's going to have to be defending against these looters. So you're going to get a good weapon. Really nice weapon. Uh, you currently have 52 armor base, which gives resolve. Um, oh, none of these can be equipped. Okay. Your follower is... Uh, yeah, unlock surplus markets. I mean, it's not great. None of the followers are really outstanding. Um, so I guess we can just leave him with that. And then he gets expertise and satisfaction um, from his... Uh, what is this? What is this called again here? A accessory. Um, we could give him... Instead of expertise, maybe we give him something like, uh, that helps in the battlefield. Like instinct. Here, a uh, military supplies for his own army, guerrilla deployment for his own retinue with some cunning, uh, which could be great because that gives ammunition to his own retinue and he has a lot of archers. Uh, yeah, why don't we do that? Guerrilla deployment. Guerrilla deployment could be really nice when defending a city because you can position him outside the settlements as well. Um, okay, so I like, I think he's a, a, a pretty good position. Um, this army, again, see, this, this army is not really a threat. They're all going to be pretty weak, but... Um, Oh, maybe it's when we... No, it doesn't give horses. Why did I think it gave horses? Very weird. I'm not sure where I got that in my head from. Uh, I Ever thought it did. Horse. It uh, The city does not uh, give horses in its garrison. Oh, I bet you I looked at the salt ponds by accident. That's totally what I did. I looked at the salt ponds over here, which give uh, archers, horses, and swords. Uh, whereas the city just gives a lot of swords and archers. Um, but yeah, I say we push out the, the settlement here and go and try to take out as much of this uh, force as possible, and then we'll be able to move back into the city um, uh, to defend against the additional one. So let's go ahead and start battle. The good thing... Oh, oh wait. I was going to keep talking there for... Uh, uh, but I didn't want to waste the deployment screen, as I, I usually edit that out. Um, so you can see here, yeah, like his retinue, like they can expand, they, they can deploy... All the way up here if we wanted to. Now in this battle, that's not really worth it. But, uh, you know, in a city fight, that could be uh, really, really nice. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and let's just get like a traditional sort of front line together here. They have a lot of damaged units. Um, we'll get our archers together behind the front. Uh, oh, I always forget about the captains. Um, this captain's units can join that front line as well. And so we'll just get a traditional line together. 
general. I'm going to hide my general over here in the trees. Now he has a better weapon. I really want to take out as many of these archers as I can. Uh, as I can. Knock out their general if possible. Um, so let's just set up kind of open field over here. We'll march up slow because uh, there's no reason to uh, waste our... Eh, you know what? That takes too much time. I was going to say there's no reason to waste our energy, but it's, uh, it's fine. Ah, uh, they do have deployables, so they do have a uh, tower set up there. And, uh, what is the range on that tower? Am I able to see? I am not. Alright, so they're, they're definitely playing this defensive behind their tower, which, I mean, makes sense. I guess I would too. So we'll just advance our main body right at it. Uh, because I guess, you know, why not? And General, you know what, we can reveal you. Let's get you up to the hilltop. Let's let them know you're Watch here. I want to see how they react. Alright, there's some archers that seem to be a little vulnerable down there, so we're going to go push through. And main force, yeah, there there they go. There, they're all exposed. Main force, let's push right up to that tower. So yeah, we're going to, there's their uh, oil. We're going to charge in here and uh, with our General, and let's just wipe out these archers. Other than the archers, they really, most of their front line took a pretty heavy beating in that last fight. It's their archers that had a lot more uh, survived. So, yeah, we're just going to charge forward with our infantry. Uh, why don't we take our archers here, and because we're almost in range, yeah, we are in range. Archers, you can halt and uh, begin firing at will. Yeah, there we go. My archers are returning fire now. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we will, we will literally just charge forward with our troops here. We'll take uh, take the tower with those two units. These guys, you guys can charge in on the cavalry. And yeah, my general. That's what, two left there? 16 left. Let's just make sure these guys don't route out with any unnecessarily. But yeah, we're getting... Tower is ours. Yeah, we're just gonna swarm over the hilltop here. There's their infantry, the remnants of it. So we can uh, we can go ahead and surround uh, those guys with our infantry while my general uh, fights their archers here in the back. Oh wait, there's their general, 724 health. Let's let's go take him out for sure. Yeah, you guys, yeah, these guys take them out. All right, we got their general, nicely done. And yeah, this force should have almost nothing left. Yeah, you can see my archers just uh, pummeling in shots. Gotta love it here. We got these guys pretty surrounded, doing good damage to them. And uh, my general's just gonna be chasing routers out here, so I'm gonna go up to speed two. I guess these guys pushing on their archers. Look, the enemy run. Craven. Yeah, take him out. There we go. I wish he had a splash damage attack. It's okay that he doesn't, though. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, we're just gonna keep chasing these guys so that they don't, uh... What's it called? They don't, uh, route out. Or, um, turn around and fire. Yeah, the, those are just minuscule units that are left, so... Well, my archers do a little bit of cleanup over here. Well done, men. You can move out of the way now. The general will go in and finish these guys off. Yeah, I'm surprised they're really not routing. I mean, you gotta give kind of some credit for that. We'll have to get some barrages on them with my archers, though. That should that should do some nice damage. Come on, General. The yeah, General's now officially exhausted. These crossbows just they don't want to uh, they don't want to route. It's like kind of impressive, but kind of annoying. At the same time, there we go. Finally got him to route. All right, and we'll take those guys out. Archers are yeah, they're gonna do some nice damage over there. I definitely want the crossbows done because they are a. Uh, they are a huge pain. With the, they have added range. Uh, oh, they have 12 left? No, let's stay on them. They have added range compared to normal range troops, like their the normal archers. Their range is longer, so... Yeah, we'll just... Uh, if we can take out those guys out really quick... Alright, let's turn over there. Let four of them run away. That's fine. Too many men over here to 
to waste just for four, uh, you know, four of those guys. So go knock some of these dudes out. Where's the edge of the map? Okay, they still got a little bit of ways to go. Nice. There we go, General. Yeah, so you can see how much quicker he takes out the routers uh, with the better weapon. Like, the amount of damage that he was doing last battle, it just just didn't, was not, it was just not enough. Uh, but this is now more than enough to really chase down routers and do some damage. And if we have a couple cavalry units in our force as well, um, I, I really think we're going to have no problem with the looter armies going forward. I think we finally, finally found a, a pretty sustainable, um, come on, get them, pretty sustainable uh, solution here to, to deal with routers. Alright, let's see if that actually knocks out the whole force. Nope, the they got 128 remaining. Oh, uh, that's fine. We get another another thousand. Um, he has no friends and rivals, nothing to value to steal. Yeah, he's pretty bad. Um, yeah, his traits aren't that great. We can just release him for the additional they money. Only and uh, yeah, we only lost 82 men, so we'll take the additional thousand income as well. Enough. So yeah, on one hand, I mean the... Ooh, Battlefield Surgeon. Your general refuses to celebrate victory in battle. Allies still lay light. Lie wounded on the battlefield, injured troops three at a time, are personally rescued and carried on horseback to be treated before the general rides out to collect, collect more. He gains some additional experience, and we got an ancillary, the dual war axe, which is almost 2,000 damage. Uh, very nice. Uh, we will move back into the settlement, and in the settlement we will replenish uh, all the way back up in one move. This force is completely donezo now, and they are they have attrition at the same time, not worried about them. This force is like half strength. Um, so basically I'm pretty confident in the uh, ability to defend the city, um, and once we get a garrison here as well, we should be good. So, Gongdu, let's continue with our plan of uh, bringing you in towards the front lines. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's no reason we can't go into Force March now. Uh, your your units are all you have a full army of units, so might as well take that extra room. Um, only a little bit of mustering left to go. Okay, uh, this force yes. into key pass. All right, and then if we upgraded the pass, wow, look at that! If we upgraded the pass, um, the garrison literally doubles. That is huge. Uh, and since this pass is on the front lines with a uh, war here, with the coalition war that I am in, or an alliance war that I am in, um, yeah, let's do that. Let's upgrade the pass one turn. Uh, Hedong, border settlement here. Yeah, we could do the next upgrade along the satisfaction and public order route. I am fine with that, um, especially because your public order is only growing at one per turn. And then with 2,800 left... This is going to be a big fight in a minute here, and these guys are all set up, right? Yeah, he's set up. Ooh, I mean, I could give Huang Xiao here, like, an absolutely disgusting weapon. I mean, I got a few options here. Jeez, okay. Uh, yeah, we could really... You know, his current weapon is great. It's like, uh, you know, 1250 damage. Uh, gives some expertise in resolve, 24 attack rate. But we could go to literally like 2400 and change damage for 15 resolve and instinct, which is health and damage and, and melee damage. And at, at the sacrifice of some expertise, which he already has a ton of. Um, yeah, you know what? He's, he's getting that. Because, uh, mainly because I'm worried about the woman, um, down here. Uh, the, the woman that I'm fighting, I'm worried about her, uh, army and the, uh, effects that she had, that she got in the last episode. Like, the Queen Rises, uh, one or whatever. Then this guy has the Thousand Weapon, yeah, that's the best he's gonna have there. Um, that's fine. He, yeah, you got a, you got a really good, yeah, you got some good stuff. And you are a Lord of Virtue, so is there actually anything better that we could give you? No, see, it would be nice to get, like, a follower that gives, like, public order if you're a Lord of Virtue, but I think Income from Industry is probably a really good one. And and who else, again, are the war... Uh, oops. Who else, again, here are the Lords of Virtue? It's Zhang Kai and Zhu He as well. So let's just, uh, Zhang Kai... Like, does any of this stuff give Lord of Virtue bonuses? 
No. But these do. And he doesn't actually have one that's given it to him right now. Um, so we could do trade influence. We could give him the trade influence one. That's fine. Is that how much... Uh, if, I, if I switch this back over... Oh, I guess it, maybe it takes a turn to effect. That it's taken effect, but let's take a look really quick. Our trade income is six ninety four. I guess let's see what it is next turn. Um, that's cool. Okay, so this army, yeah, they're very well set up with two generals that are uh, very capable of dueling. Um, hopefully, we can defend well there. And then here, over in Shu, uh, we do have the garrison and the city uh, city garrison itself. We could probably, we probably want to, uh, let's bring in another Yellow Turban Archers. And, um, yeah, here we got, we got two Spearmen and a, and a Reclaimers, which is like a, yeah, heavy spear. Um, we do have Star Wars Shields that we could bring in. Um, we got two, yeah, we, maybe we want, maybe she had, wants more swords. Um, that could be good. Yeah, she gets the plus 8% range block chance as well. That's nice. Armor for her retinue. Yeah. Okay. She does get a little bit of that range bonus too. It's okay. I think we'll give her... Yeah, Star Wars shields are just so expensive. I'm thinking, do I just go with the regular... With the regular yellow turban spearman unit, but the stalwarts are just, they're so nice. Such a nice unit. Um, yeah, we need good units over here. So we'll bring those in. Alright. Yeah, because we're fighting this war with two armies, so we, we need good units in the region. Uh, we need high quality units. And then, great. This, we can start getting aggressive over here once my main uh, Gongdu force is in, is in uh, position. And, uh, yeah, he's got a nice 2,000, uh, yeah, minus 5% corruption, character experience, okay, yeah, that's all good. There's Jinkai. Alright. I like that with punishment in the army. Okay, so I think that's a good position. Again, we used up most of our money on military matters. If I were to drop tax rate, we'd be making about 2,000, which is pretty doable. Um, it could, you know, we just, uh, on the whole, our public order isn't a problem, um, but we're using three assignments to, you know, combat the negative effects right now. Uh, we could definitely go a couple more turns with it at its current plate, uh, pace to, to keep money up, and then we'd probably have to drop it. Um, so, yeah, I guess let's go ahead and hit that next turn. Yeah, and Shao, nothing. Let's see what we get. All right, here we go. Is she going to attack? Means you wrong. All right, she laid siege to the city. The looters uh, are now moving their armies together. I mean, smart move uh, for sure. Uh, Yan Shu commanded their vassal, Gunshu Shixing, to join a war against Shi Ji. Um, they also joined the war against uh, King Menguo. Love that, because I'm at war with him as well. Uh, Zhang Kai gets Inspiring Presence, plus 15 morale in the zone army for, uh, uh, five turns. So you moving him in this army into position. And, uh, oh, he did level up as well, uh, which is very nice. So, what do we want to give him? He basically has the army's archers in his retinue and cavalry. So, wow, he's got a lot of, yeah, a lot of stuff here. <laughs> um... That's good, because he is a Lord of Virtue. So we could give Instinct, um, Fatigue Resistance. Okay, what's this? Defiance gives armor for his retinue. I mean, that's definitely very nice. Uh, we could also give Guerrilla Deployment and Night Battles for the army. Um, see, the perk of going with Endurance here, which enables the Fatigue Resistance effect for his own retinue, um, is that the two that are bordering it here in the top is the charge speed and the battle running speed, um, which is great for the cavalry units uh, in his force. Um, so I think that's endurance is the one I'm going to go ahead and give him, and that will up his resolve as well, which will give him more general's health. So overall, that's good. Ambushes, 
it's not really an ambush anymore. It's, uh, yeah. Oh, I guess it was saying she moved out of an ambush. So she is attacking the city. There's this, the flaming thing that you can see. Um, I'm not sure if I can see the actual effects of it. But, uh, but yeah, they, they have, the faction has this whole, like, flaming effects thing that supposedly makes them really tough to fight. Now, I, I don't know that. Um, it seems kind of concerning to me, to be completely honest. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. She has great stats. She has a good weapon. Anyone in this army duelable? That army's not as bad. He's got good dueling stats, though. Or that, that weapon's not as bad, sorry. Uh, that weapon's trash. So this guy, we could, we could definitely, uh, duel. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna probably have to push out and fight, because... You know how it is in this game. Even though I have full reserves in the settlement, uh, for some reason, if I just I, I literally lose troops right off the bat, uh, suffering attrition, um, it's super annoying that it kind of happens that way. Like you'd think with you know you wouldn't suffer uh, attrition until your reserves hit zero, but uh, you do. So we are under siege. Let's just kind of go through the rest of this traits gain. Jankai got philanthropic. Oh, he just got that. Oh, which helps public order faction wide. That is. That is huge. Uh, tiger, Tiger. Um, we saw character gains rank. We saw buildings. Strong barrier. The key pass, yes, is now a strong barrier. Uh, if we wanted to up that again, it doesn't actually add on any troops. It just changes the composition of the troops, which is not as important for us right now. And back, so you got its drinking house. Nice. All right, so we got 4,000 to work with before any fights. Um, oh, really quick. Yeah, so this force uh, up here, the... Oh god, I was clicking in the wrong spot. The loot is force. I mean, they're now taking winter attrition. Um, it looks more intimidating than it is, but look, these units aren't even half strength. When they attack the settlement, they will literally uh, be Start under half strength. Um, so I am not worried about them at all. So let's go ahead and do this fight. We, sh I believe, yeah, we... Oh, we should, yeah, we should get... This was where I looked at the garrison with the cavalry. Not, not over there. It was here. Yeah, so we should get uh, an additional seven units. Strike them! Yeah, that's a that's a really nice amount of additional units to get. Um, so let's take a quick look, just because we're unfamiliar with these units, at what she has. Um, followers of the Flame. I mean, we saw those. Uh, yeah, I mean, these just seem to be a, a light spear unit with no ranged block. There's those slingers. They got the tiger warriors. Yeah, I mean, I think we'll be able to win this. It's just, uh, just gonna be a big fight. Let's do it. Okay. Interesting battlefield we got here. Uh, they... They should be able to be on the defensive. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna start in the rear here, because we want to, uh, match up with our, um... Whoa, I didn't know you could do that. That's really nice. If you are selecting your whole army, you can toggle skirmish mode on or off for just the units that need it. Super useful. Didn't know that. Um, I do want to duel with our uh, very powerful uh, dude here. Um, he just doesn't. Uh, he doesn't have a splash damage attack, which is unfortunate. But 25k health with an enormously powerful weapon. Uh, and good stats. I would love to duel with him, and he are dual candidates, so we can start them a little bit more forward. Uh, I don't want to duel with Zidang if I can help it. Um, let's take this army and section it off into unit types. Alright, yeah. Archers... Cavalry with Z Dang can be one group. And uh, maybe we can hide you guys. Are they hidden? They're hidden over here. Okay, maybe we can get them around the back and hit the uh, archers of the enemy. Uh, if they're hidden over there. Um, oh, deployables. Yeah, I guess we can uh, position a tower. Let's put it right in those trees. Let's get like a cavalry blockade on the left side here. And we can put, like, boiling oil in the middle of it. And let's start battle. So, front line of units. Second line of units. Here come reinforcements, including cavalry. Uh, these units of cavalry, very nice. 
Let's get you over here, join up with the rest. Very, very nice. Um, we got the archers that came in. Let's get you up here, join up with the archers. And these two peasant warrior units, not very good. I guess you can move over there. Hit one of the flanks. And uh, yeah, they are moving towards me, which is nice. They are really moving. They're really running. They're pretty cool. These guys are quick. Wow. All right. So everyone's moving into position. Yeah, we can do this. We can uh, gather these guys together. Oh, their generals appeared out of nowhere. All right, let's hold up a second. I, I definitely want you automatically reject any proposed duels. Yeah, you're outmatched, apparently. You're not outmatched against this guy, uh, supposedly. So, that's him right here. Meng, <laughs> Meng Yecheng. Uh, Meng Yecheng. Does have a weak splash damage attack. Just check it. Yeah, I mean, he's got a pretty solid weapon. I definitely outmatch him. Let's, uh... You guys can duel... Why don't you move backwards and uh, seriously think you have a go chance. ahead and be with the force, the main force. Alright, here we go. Duel's underway. Oh, I took the first hit. Health is about equal. I do have a much more powerful weapon, though. Speed melee damage. Yeah, we'll give him, give him the perks. And he, yeah, okay. Cavalry over here is still hidden. Good. This Cav. I want you going to join them. Can these guys run up any slower. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I crushed him. <laughs> this weapon is so powerful. Oh my god, I demolished this fool. Wow. I will cut you to pieces for your treachery. Wow, we crushed him. Uh, archers, off fire at will, please. Uh, I don't want you wasting your ammo on this woman. Here comes the whole force. Get back on your horse, dude. Get back on your horse. Alright, let's get you back this way. General's out here on the flank, please. Alright, let's pause for a second. Oh no, these guys were discovered. These guys haven't been... Oh, they don't even have, like, any archers. What, what am I thinking? Um... Yeah, you guys can go in on the slingers. You cavalry, why don't you move in this direction? Generals, let's see if we can't take this dude out. Our hidden men have been seen! Archers, back on fire at will. Go ahead. Let's charge it on those slingers. Stay on him, generals. Here come the tigers. Ooh. Oh, come on. Are we really? These slingers really holding on? You are pitiful. I will not rise to petulant insults. Uh, yeah, Cavalry's a little bit cut off over here. That's alright. You guys, let's get out this way. Alright, Cavalry, push push through. Is this guy almost dead already? No, not really. General, come help out with this guy. This guy's really putting up a fight. This My right flank here might get... Kind of swarmed. Going on the, going on all those guys. All right, let's start moving our way down the line. Hit them from behind with that infantry, with those infantry units. Generals can all be grouped together now. Let's take this, finish this general off. That's been running around my front lines here. Yeah, my central front lines getting pushed back a bit. That's for sure. Um, let's go ahead and help them out with the cavalry. Yeah, 
Get cavalry coming in on those slingers. Should get nice hits. Yes, yeah, spearmen. Oh, let's keep pushing on these guys. Okay, he's almost done. Yeah, he's almost done. There we go. All right, go help out the troops. Good stuff. All right, group of cab. Let's get out of there. Yeah, we're gonna use whatever bonuses we can here. Cavalry, go ahead and chase those guys out. Yeah, generals. Why don't we go try to take out Queen Zhurong herself? You guys. Well, let's talk about the infantry a little bit more first. How about the infantry a little bit more before we do that? Yeah, stay on those Nemen warriors. So we got, all, right, all you guys. Oh, oh, we just got. Oh, we got some breaks over here. Not sure where that came from. All right, generals units. Yeah, this whole, like... What? What? Who died? What? The time has come. Swords sharpen. No. Stand ready. I didn't even realize I had a general that was close to dying. have a ranged attack or something? Flying daggers, missile attack, 10k damage over 15 seconds. Jeez. Make ready to battle. Stand ready. Show no mercy. The enemy warriors are ready. Yeah, we're going to attack her with everything we've got. Come on, get her. There we go. They were no match. Was that really the best you could do? That was crazy. I didn't even realize he died. Like. I did, like, he had so much health, they usually don't lose that much health just fighting a bunch of regular infantry, but that attack that she had must have done tons of damage. I didn't even know that was a thing in this game. That is crazy. Oh, so disappointing. Uh, he's off his horse, that's why I'm not uh, bothering to chase with him. Yeah, we'll just take out these guys that were in the center here. Wow, that's really frustrating. I, I cannot believe that. 10,000 damage over on a ranged attack? I mean, that isn't... I don't even think splash damage attacks do that much damage. That is crazy. Do I get his ancillaries back? I should, right? I mean, he died. Like, I, I should be able to pick up his weapon. Alright, that's good enough. I guess let's see. Alright, so we took out her first. Hopefully he's just injured. Not actually dead. Oh, just deeds Looks like blessed. he's just injured. Oh my god. 3,300 coins from that one fight. Alright, we captured this guy. This is the... This guy's pretty bad. It's both sworn with... I mean, I don't care about these guys. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll execute him for the stone pig. Their insidious sickness cannot be allowed to uh, spread. So, two of those generals are still alive. Um, I'm just debating punishment or another thousand income. Take that thousand income. They merely do their master's bidding. All right. Um, worst case avoided. He's just hurt for one turn. Um, he, yeah, I was gonna say he probably got. I don't know if he had that already or not, but he might have gotten a negative effect. Traits gained. Oh yeah, there we go. He got he got lame, which takes away a little instinct and speed. Um, it's unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Uh, ancillaries gained. We got a shaman, um, and we got a stone pig. Wounds and deaths. Yeah, he's wounded. Sieges and blockade. The siege has been lifted. So all three of the well, one general's dead. We executed him. The other two generals in this force are gonna take one turn to come back. So this could be a great opportunity to push out of the city and uh, go hit the army without any generals, uh, which is exactly what we're gonna do. All right, very hilly battlefield. Uh, let's take, yeah, we are obviously down a general as well, uh, and he is a bit damaged, so we just gotta be careful with him. But let's take our general and cavalry block, and we'll move it out to the side. Let's take our uh, archer units here, and group them together, and then, yeah, everyone else. Can be our front line. And yeah, they're gonna just be up this hill somewhere. So let's go ahead and we will move our units up the hill. Oh, there's one all the way over there. Alright, well. Um, I guess we're going to position here instead. It's fine with me. <laughs> yeah, they'll have the uphill uh, advantage, and they did rush, which cut off some of my range advantage. Bring these guys behind. We'll go after all their non-spear units with them. Alright, my archers should be opening fire here now. There we go. Charge right into those Nemen Slingers. Whole front line in guard mode, please. Generals, why don't you go after the Warriors? Cavalry, you can go after the Slingers. Yeah, come on. I mean, these guys should not be able to withstand this. It's go help out where help is needed on the front lines. Yeah, they, they kind of swamped around this uh, my right flank a little bit. We'll come in and we'll help out with our generals. The time has come. Strike them down. We'll use our splash damage attack with TE here. Should wrap this unit out. One step closer to victory. Strike! At the ready. Horsemen, kill them! Cool. Take heed! There we go. Just keep on, uh, keep on doing your thing, he. Oh, he's off his horse. That's unfortunate. We're gonna lose the ability to chase routers. But uh, it's all right. Yeah, he's still on his horse over here. Look, the enemy run. My you guys should be able to take out those warriors. Ready. Go take them out. Yeah, we're doing we're doing really good damage to this army, so I'm not uh, I'm not too uh, too concerned. Ready. For the great peace. Come on, man. Ready, yellow turban. Take heed, warriors. Charge. Make ready. Fight. Attack. Just gotta be slightly careful, I guess, with Hee over here, but should be uh, good in a second. 
Yeah, there we go. They're fleeing. Right, why don't we go help out in the middle here, followers of the flame. Alright, General, that's enough. You're, you're too far out there. That's enough for you. Is he not on his horse anymore either? Oh no, he is. It, it's just, everything moves slower in the snow. It's unfortunate. There we go. Alright, we got the route. We'll let my general uh, try to chase down as many of those guys as he can. But uh, I don't think he's going to be able to do too many. Uh, cavalry up here. What do we got? Naman spears. Naman spears. Alright, just go after the spears. Uh, you know, spears, that's fine. Um, I had some units routing too, apparently. Yeah, those guys are gonna just get get out of dodge, unfortunately. Let's see if you can't make it over in time. Yeah, really damaged cavalry units, unfortunately, but you know, we're gonna do the best we can, knock those guys out. Zhenkai's trying to get over here. Or, sorry, Zidang. They just kind of... Their character screen kind of looks the same. Uh, I don't think he's going to make it in time, though. Nah, he's not. Alright. Sweet. Alright, they got... Yeah, we knocked their army down to uh, 250. It's really not a threat. We basically took another thousand. Um... Oh, and there, the army completely is gone. So, yeah, between the, uh, between knocking out the generals and that, I think we can probably now start uh, advancing with this force uh, in this territory. We are gaining a rather rapid 39% uh, uh, replenishment, even though we're not in a city. Um, so this army will replenish up pretty quickly. You can even see the general's health taking a big boost while we're in friendly territory. So why don't we... Uh, begin and advance towards Ba. And be in the forest for the time being. Um, this army's in a, in a very nice position now. Way to go. Settlement over here. Um, this army, we have so much money to work with now. Uh, yeah, we can definitely recruit in that second unit of Kev. And, um... Yeah, I just don't want... We're already at about an hour and six, seven minutes. I think if I fought this other battle, we get to like an hour twenty. So instead of doing the whole turn and ending the turn, I'm just going to leave it here. And then when we start the next episode, we'll have a lot of money to work with. And, you know, we'll be able to get into the uh, fights here, finishing off this looter force. And, you know, having uh, having fun with that. So thanks everyone for watching. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, you know, please uh, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't uh, yet to my channel. And, um... Yeah, sorry if my voice was a little off this episode. I've been a bit sick recently, but that's why it's coming out late as well. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we will uh, get back on the normal schedule for sure. So I look forward to seeing everybody in the next episode. Have a good one.